Last summer, I made a video where I talked about the future of New York City, or at least what I thought the future was going to look like. In this video, I want to give an update to that because a lot of things have changed since that last video. I'm a real estate agent here in New York City, so a lot of what I speak about is going to be focused around real estate, but I think that's a good thing because everyone needs a place to live. And I know a lot of you are looking for deals right now, whether you're looking for something to rent or to buy. So stay tuned for more on that. I'll start by talking about where we are now, and then later on in the video, I'll talk more about the future of New York City. First, let's start with rentals. There are so many vacant apartments in New York City right now, especially in Manhattan. So the deals that you can find are like no other that I've seen since I've been here. I see different figures about how many apartments are currently vacant, anywhere between like 17, 18,000 up to even in the low 20s. So I'm not sure the exact number of vacant apartments in New York City. I don't think anyone knows that, but you're somewhere around 20,000 apartments. That being said, that means that there are plenty of deals to find in the city right now, especially in Manhattan and also some in the boroughs. You'll find the most deals for rentals right now in areas where there are office buildings, mainly in the office districts. And the reason for that is because since the pandemic caused a lot of people to start working remotely, it wasn't a perk anymore to be able to walk to the office. So people no longer had to be there. Some people went into New Jersey. Some people went down to Florida and other places. But people who wanted to stay in New York City, a lot of them went to the boroughs, especially Brooklyn. The reason that many people went to Brooklyn is because you get way more bang for your buck there. You have more space, both indoor and outdoor, and you pay a little less than you were paying historically in Manhattan. However, Brooklyn already started becoming a destination where people wanted to live. This pandemic just accelerated people going into the borough. So now that you have people moving from Manhattan into Brooklyn, you have more demand there, less supply because that supply is being absorbed and that's causing prices to actually start to go up in Brooklyn. Other areas that you can find good rental deals are where you see a lot of new construction. The reason for that is these developers who are building these buildings, they want to get them leased out as soon as possible so they get some cash flow going. So what they're doing is giving more concessions to people to attract them into their newer spaces that are really nice and have all these amenities. So what landlords of smaller, older buildings near those new construction buildings have to do is adjust their pricing accordingly so that they can attract people who don't wanna pay the new construction prices, but they still wanna be in that neighborhood and they don't mind being in an older walk-up building. So therefore, you're able to find more deals in those neighborhoods. Now let's talk about sales. You'll have some of the similar trends that you do with rentals, but the sales market in New York City is rebounding way faster than the rental market. And this is why. With rentals, you have people who are looking to sign one or two year leases and they're just looking to find a good deal to lock in for that period. But for sales, you have people who are looking to get in at these lower prices so that they can have that long term gain. So if you get in now at a lower basis than you were able to back before the pandemic a year ago, in five to 10 years, you're going to have a much larger profit margin. So people see this opportunity and they're out there looking to buy and they're bidding these places up. There's actually bidding wars again that hasn't happened in a while, especially in Brooklyn for those reasons that I mentioned before. So prices are going back up. So I think for anyone who's looking to buy right now, you have to realize that, come to reality and be ready to meet where the market is. And I have to say, if you are thinking about buying right now, now is the good time because those prices are only gonna keep going up as we approach the springtime and the summertime. And then for sellers, of course, this is a good time for you because if you've been thinking about selling over the past year, prices are now going up, 
So you're gonna get a lot more money than you were able to get, let's say six months ago. In addition to people going out buying so that they can get a better deal than they were able to before the pandemic, you also have things opening back up, giving people a reason to wanna live in New York City again. Arenas are starting to open back up, so now you'll be allowed to go in person to watch sports games and concerts soon. Amusement parks are gonna be opening back up just in time for the spring and summertime when things are warming up and people wanna go out and do these things. Broadway will be back later this year. I believe by the fall time we'll have that. Indoor dining is back and even at an increased capacity. So you have all of these things and as time goes on and the vaccine gets distributed more and more, more things are gonna be opening and people are gonna to wanna to be back in New York City more. So I think now is a really good time to transition back in and take advantage of these prices that you can get now because they will not last forever. And who knows if we'll ever see any deals like this again in our lifetime. I think in general, New York City does have a bright future. It could take a few years for us to get to where we were before the pandemic, especially with tourism. However, we will get there. This is New York City. People still love this place. Sure, we have our issues here, but every city does. You can't go to any city and think that it's going to be perfect and everything is gonna run how you want it to. But again, New York City is going to be just fine. We're already starting to trend towards that. I'm really excited to see this, especially as we approach the summertime. I love the summertime in New York City. And then I'm also excited to see how things progress for the months and then the years after that. If you have any questions about this, or if you wanna talk about anything that I spoke about in this video, please reach out to me. Also reach out to me if you are looking to buy a place in New York City. Again, I am a real estate agent here at Compass. So I'd be happy to help you with that. Also, if you're thinking about selling and you wanna know how much money you can get in this market, please reach out to me for that as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more New York City and New Jersey real estate videos. And I'll see you in the next one.